tribute to Minecraft. Wait, Schlott made this? Uh, hey! Yeah, what's up? I found a, I found a disc. We'll put it in the put it in the thing then. No. Let's go. Put it. No. Put it in the thing. Okay. The last time you clicked on a Minecraft video was probably like five years ago. Don't worry, I'm in that camp too. I'd rather watch paint dry than another Hunger Games Let's Play. Cunt. My name is Schlatt, and today we're going to talk a bit about how a stupidly simplistic sandbox became my favorite game. Where I think it took a turn in the wrong direction, and why even after all the new changes, even after how god awful the community's become, and even after mine coins. There's still a soft spot for it in my heart. I've never watched this. Why did you do that? That's not a good song. Alright, well, put something else in. Put something else in. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. put something else in. He puts Stalin. <laughs> he puts yeah, fucking yeah, Stalin in the jukebox. Star, Are yeah, you I'll fucking Star. kidding me? Are Star, you out of your God. Minecraft came out for the Xbox 360 on May 9th, 2012. Coincidentally, that was the day 12-year-old Schlatt found his new favorite game. Remember Bionicles? Yeah, Fuck I had yeah. more than you did, so naturally, a game where you could build whatever you wanted was right up my alley. And the 360 release of Minecraft was a bare-bones version of an already bare-bones game. It was charmingly simple, dropping you into a world with no real instructions or goals. There wasn't much to do, but the things you could do, the game nailed. Combat was straightforward and fun, especially with a group of friends. Building stuff was almost therapeutic. And the quiet time spent mining in preparation for... <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Dogs. Back then, you were able to sh to block with your so your sword. Ah, uh, you were able to block with your sword. Ending in preparation for. What the fuck? Dog, this song fucking sucks. I'm sorry. Hey, I what just, the fuck I, do you I, mean? I gotta do it, man. There's so many What am I supposed to do? Huh? What do you mean? I got a video to play. Some of you were saying it was eight. Eight. And some, the quiet you... time spent mining in preparation for what was to come. That space to organize your thoughts and plan out your next move, all the while being serenaded by those faint piano melodies in the background. That was the icing on the cake. I was in love with this game. It let me be creative, adventurous. You could do with everything around you what you pleased. And to this day, some of my fondest gaming memories have come from open world games like that. Oh. DayZ, GTA 4, Sakura Beach. Dude, we fucking love Sakura Beach. We fucking love you, Sakura Beach. And we also loved... Daisy. We are a Daisy community and we've come from Daisy. I fucking love Daisy. Does anyone want water? I'm gonna get some water real quick. Does anyone want anything? You guys want juice? After the video. Wait. Every day I'd hop off the bus, throw myself on the couch, and log back in. There was only one world I played on. I wanted it to be the only one my friends played on too, so I crammed as much cool shit in there as I could. I built minecarts, mob traps, I exploited this duplication glitch and built the house out of diamond blocks. Listen, I was a perfectionist. And this world had to be perfect, or else all I would have been doing was just wasting away in front of a TV every day. But even after the countless hours I pumped into Minecraft, I was still pretty ass at building. So I started watching other people play to figure out what I could do or build to make my world a little better. And as a result, I found an entirely new avenue of the game. Oh my god, dude. You're Fuck. Fucking ins oh my god. <sighs> god. Chat, if you want to know what I'm doing right now, I'm petting Dita with both my feet. Hey. What? You want to make a Let's Play? Wow, that was some kind of storm, and, uh, where the hell are we? Jeez. Shin, I don't know, uh, where's my boat? I, it all got so confusing, Shin, I, my boat, <laughs> my boat is wrecked. All my stuff was in the boat, I've lost all of it. I lost consciousness for a little while, What's and, this? and when I woke up, all I saw was you standing there in a loincloth, Shin. Oh, God. Is this some kind of fresh hell? I was never a huge fan of Let's Plays. My introduction to the genre was, well, loud. Even back then it was a screaming contest. And even though I was 12, that kind of stuff just didn't sit well with me. I found myself gravitating to more reserved and laid-back YouTubers, like Monkey Farm, who in the Let's Play space was a breath of fresh air. He took a very methodical approach to building, and his videos were more about that process rather than about him. 
And as I watched more videos, I eventually found my way into modded Minecraft through these two guys, Sips and Shin. They were the quieter side of the Yogg's cast, and even though both of them sucked at the game, it was hilariously fun to watch them dick around and try and figure things out. These boys were the perfect Let's Play combo, and their Sipsco series, where they automate the process of dirt collection, is single-handedly responsible for my foray into Tekken. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, Careful. I don't know what that is. A mine. Where are you? I'm at the top. I'm at the top of the Look mine, out. Sips. What, what are you doing? Look out. I'm, oh. I'm digging, I'm digging a big hole here, you stupid son of a bitch. What does it look like I'm doing? God. Tekkit was a different beast altogether. A collection of technology-oriented mods that looked like Minecraft, but offered an entirely new way to play the, the game. Fuck? If you didn't like mining, you didn't have to do it. You could build one of these things and it'd dig for you. If you didn't like building, well, guess what? Anything you wanted to do could be done with the right machines. And it led to some pretty incredible stuff. Is it? Yes, yes, look over here, Sips! What the oh fuck? God, Where is it? Where is it? it oh my like god, we've actually done something! Oh, Shit, yeah! We, done so we did something <laughs> cool in Tekkit! Oh, oh yes. my god, look! Tekkit's charm wore off quickly, though. After the Sipsco series ended, I found myself getting bored with mods, and gradually, I made my way back to vanilla. But the charm was gone here, too. Uh -oh. I tried to put my feelings into words on the Minecraft forum, and I left an extremely controversial post. I feel like Minecraft is becoming too complicated. I liked it the old way better. Now there's weighted pressure plates and these sun things. I still don't know how to use anything from that redstone update. Me Why is everything becoming more complex? I thought Minecraft was popular for its... sip malicity. <laughs> or at least that's why I liked it. I think I summed that up pretty well. I'd stopped playing mods because I preferred that simplicity. And with each new update and each round of new items and gameplay mechanics added to the base game, I felt like Minecraft just wasn't Minecraft anymore. So that begs the question, what is Minecraft? Fine! Well, for me, Minecraft is not knowing how to play Minecraft. It's generating that first world and thinking to yourself, what next? It's standing in awe at the foot of a massive ravine. Ooh. Minecraft is that dirt hut you built on the first night. The memories I cherish most from this game are from when I had no idea what I was doing. They're from when the game was simple. And, I guess, from when my life was simple, too. Because back then, there was nothing to worry about. School was a joke. I didn't have to study to do well. I, I didn't have any commitments. Pretty much all of my free time was spent playing video games. And it was enjoyable. You know, you know, I didn't have a future to worry about. I was only just beginning to realize that I liked to make videos. And that was only because of an uncle in the field who continued to encourage me. Looking back, I suppose the simplicity of my 7th grade life coincided pretty well with the simplicity of Minecraft. And as I got older, and as I gradually figured myself out, what I enjoyed doing, what my hobbies were, what I wanted to do later in life, Minecraft got older too. At the end of the day, I don't know if it was my maturation or Minecraft's maturation that started pushing me away, but ever since 2013, the game just hasn't felt the same. Until in a moment of reflection and tranquility, that soft piano starts fading in. And the warm melodies I've come to know all too well over the years invite me back into a world I've missed for so long. C418's Minecraft. Volume Alpha. I know nothing about music theory, and I'm not going to pretend like I do, but there's something about it. Maybe it's the simple piano of dry hands, maybe it's the quirkiness of subwoofer lullaby, or maybe it's not actually the music at all. Because when I heard these songs for the first time, they didn't blow me away, I didn't instantly fall in love with the soundtrack. But the soundtrack is the only thing that hasn't changed since I loaded up the game for the first time. These songs are timeless, and when they start playing, just for a moment, I feel like I'm 12 again, playing on the same world I always used to. The music is what brings back all those memories. It brings back Minecraft. Stupid Fortnite kids. They ruin everything. Joyers. Idiots. Today, the Xbox 360 sits quietly on my dresser. To its right, a hacked Wii with the homebrew shell on it. Fuck Before yeah. I get into Minecraft, I used to hack Mario Kart and just spam infinite items at people and pretty much just make the race a living hell for anyone in it. And that is actually me playing the game, recording the analog TV with a camera on a tripod. I know, it was bad, but I, I had tripod to start somewhere seven. making videos and that was it. 
To its left, a Mac Pro that weighs more than I do. This was a parting gift for my uncle, who lost his fight to cancer in 2013. He was the one who got me making videos in the first place, and God knows the type of person I'd be without him. They're all dusty, but they're all still plugged in, hooked up to a TV that hasn't been on for a while. And that world is still there too. So I decided to go back in. For the first time in half a decade, I turned on the Xbox. Spawned in my wooden house, first thing I ever built in Minecraft. Made my way past the dozen or so dogs I had bred. And I went outside, and I saw the first mob trap I ever tried building. Which, uh, I don't think ever worked. <laughs> um, next door, the house of an old friend I haven't spoken to since middle school. Above it, a floating island I spent days trying to make. A little up the hill, the second attempt at a mob trap, which I think I got working at some point, but I don't think it ever worked after that. And the entrance to a minecart rail that went on for miles. Underground, into caves over the water. That thing was insane. The, the magnum opus of the entire world. And slowly but surely, Sweden faded in. And I just started crying. Uh, they weren't they weren't sad tears, they weren't tears of joy. I wasn't overwhelmed. I don't know. I knew that all this world is, all this game is, is just a cleverly constructed sequence of ones and zeros, but I knew that in a way, it's a part of me. This world is something that I will always hold dear to my heart. It's a window into the past, a reflection of the kid I was. It's just been sitting here, on the Xbox, unchanged since 2013, when I logged out for the last time. Unchanged since I started to become the man I am today. Minecraft the game is changing. Minecraft's audience changed a long time ago. The only thing that's really stayed Not static now. about it has been the music. You put me in some random world I've never explored. You can add weird new items I'll never know how to use, but to me, it's not really Minecraft until that music starts fading in. And I'm pulled back into a world when nothing really mattered. When everything was easy. And when I was happy. That was a good video shot. I didn't know Schlock could get so emotionally attached with uh, music and also creating. not cringe at all man it's someone that is making a dedication to something that they loved for nearly a decade it's a piece of their childhood that they loved they miss and they feel like they are incomplete without how is it cringe at all it's not i thought it was a very well done video it's crazy i mean like i i feel this way a lot not with minecraft i feel it with world of warcraft a lot and believe me World of Warcraft has changed a plethora of more times worse than uh, than Minecraft. Like, I feel that way with WoW more than anything. And I could go into my old character and it's not the same. It's not the same world. It's nothing's the same. So I can't go back and be like, oh, wow, you know, this was my time. Everything's different. My spellbook's different. My world is different. My life is different in WoW. It's, it's not the same. Um, I... Uh, yeah, I felt that way a lot, and I think a lot of people feel this way about video games. Uh, so, yeah, it was that was a really good video though. Um, TBC is almost out. I'm gonna play it, man, but I know it's not gonna be the same as it once was because what Schlott said is true. Is it's the feeling of having no worries at all, you know? It's the feeling of having nothing to worry about in life. And it's the feeling of just being a kid. 
right? I, as much as I am a kid, I have things to worry about in life. I have you guys to worry about. I have my rabbit. I have things. That video gave me goosebumps. The games are different because our world around us have changed. Right, our world has changed. Things aren't the same. I can't be the same kid that I once was, you know? Uh, there's a lot that, that's changed. Nice. Um, I don't know how much Minecraft really has changed. I really do like Minecraft right now. So maybe it has changed a lot. I don't really know. Maybe they, I'm sure there's a nostalgic effect to them, which is why they claim it's changed so much, you know? A lot of it's probably just nostalgia. He came back to it. Well, of course he came back to it. This video has got 4 million views. Um... But it's still good, but it found itself again. Yeah, it seems like people like Minecraft forever. Minecraft's always been something that goes through phases, you know? Like, every game goes through a phase and dies. Minecraft's one of those games that has never gone through and, like, died. It's still prevalent, and it's still popular to this day, and people still enjoy it and can have fun. Like me, you know? I, this is my first time ever playing Minecraft, and... My first experience in Minecraft with the dragon and shit was some of the most fun gameplay I've had in years. Um, and that really means a lot for me, considering a couple years ago, I felt like I never was going to like video games again. I always thought to myself that I was just going to go to finance and never play video games again. And to, you know, play Minecraft and enjoy it, it's fun. Bro, you played Minecraft last year for about maybe an hour, and that's it. I died, and then I gave a thousand subs, or like 200 subs, that's it. I never played it before then. I played it like with my friends very rarely. I never do dove into the game, ever. I couldn't, because I, I personally just thought to myself that it's too hard. I thought, it, this game is way too complex. It requires way too much shit. And to be honest with you, if I didn't have you guys, there's no way I would play it. It's too hard. I couldn't figure out, like, how to do anything. That's my penis, chat. It's on my leg. Yeah, it's for babies. But it's fucking hard, babies. Wait. Bye.